Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today we're going to talk about how you know if you're with the right person. What are the signs? What do you look for? Well, the first question I would ask you on a personal level here is, how do they make you feel when you're with them? Do you feel nervous around them? Do you feel anxious? Do you feel confident? Do they add value to who you already are as your authentic self? These are things that are very important to figure out right away because sometimes we fall for people because they're different to us. There's something about them that intrigues us, but it's not necessarily a, a healthy place for us to allow ourselves to be. So when you're with your partner, what are your in instincts telling you? Are they saying, this partner is true to who they are or is this partner giving you off a few warning signals when you're in a great relationship you're pretty much on the same page with how you communicate about a lot of things that are going on in your life it's something that you just have a nice calm rapport with each other you can sit down eye to eye contact and talk about pretty much anything and that's what makes a really great friendship relationship because when you're in a loving uh, partnership you need to be friends first you need to be able to communicate and have respect for each other and have boundaries and if you do have boundaries and maybe the other persons are a little bit different you need to respect each other here because we're not all the same people and we wouldn't want to be with somebody who is exactly like us anyway. You want to be with somebody that brings out the best in you and you bring out the best in them. You want to be with somebody who's proud of you, who appreciates your success and your achievements in life and vice versa. You want to be there for them too. There shouldn't be any jealousy or resentment or anything like that. We're all gonna have arguments in our relationships, but it's how we deal with them that will allow us to move forward and stay connected and happy with our partner. You have to get over these things. You don't hold on to them and keep repeating the same argument over and over again, which is what some couples do because they actually haven't clarified what that actual issue was at the time. This is why it's so important to be in a very reciprocated communicative level, communicative level with your partner. This is so crucial to having longevity in, in your relationship. Not only is it important to be on a communicative level with your partner, it's also very important that you're emotionally available for each other. Because if you're harboring some resentment or something that happened in your past and you haven't discuss this with your partner, it's going to show up and it's going to come out at certain times, especially if there's any conflict that you're dealing with in your partnership. And this is something that you should share in a fairly decent time frame with them because they deserve to know if you have got some, some stuff inside of you that needs to be worked on. It doesn't mean you can't work on it together as a couple but you shouldn't bring a whole bunch of baggage into a relationship that you haven't taken time to deal with personally. Because it's not fair for your partner to have to try and fix you. And you, you're not ultimately going to want that anyway because you will resent them for sort of coming in and trying to tell you who to be. When you're in a really good relationship and you're ready to be in a partnership, you will have done a lot of your homework about things that maybe were a problem in past relationships or in your childhood, all that sort of stuff. You deal with it so that you're clear to move forward and be with somebody that you love. I always found in the past when I was close to meeting my person, things would just seriously be easy. You sit back and you say to yourself, is there something wrong with this relationship? Why is it so smooth? Why is there not a lot of drama, not a lot of conflict to deal with? That's because you're meeting somebody who's closer to who you are and you connect with. You shouldn't have to have numerous fights, makeups, breakups, all those sort of things, because that means you still have stuff to deal with. You're not at the place where you're ready to be with that particular person. It doesn't mean you might not be down the road, but you might still have a little bit of work to do on yourself 
or together as a couple. And there's no shame in going to counseling for yourself or with your partner if you feel there's just a couple of little things in there that could be tweaked a bit. Another big sign that you're in the right partnership is when you feel safe with each other and you can depend on each other for support when you might need it. There's no room for codependency in a relationship. You want to have a reciprocated rapport with each other when it comes to anything because this is what keeps a relationship connected. You're invested with each other. You want to talk about things. You're not letting things fester and growing into a different place where it can't be solved or, or looked upon. You want to always take the time to sit down and not hold back on things that are bothering you or things you maybe you just have never shared before that you feel it's time to do so. Please don't put a bunch of stuff in the basement and just let it sit there because that's not fair to your partner. You're not being sincere to who you are when you're with them because you're not giving them all of who you are. If you're in the right place, you will feel able to share that with them. And that is a really good sign of knowing you're in a safe place and that you can depend on their love and support. I probably should have said this in the first couple of sentences, but you also have to be very, very much on the same page when it comes to romance and intimacy because that will get you through all those tough times that will help you to stay connected with your partner when you have intimate moments with each other. If you have differences in the intimacy department and they're big differences, that will be very hard to change because that's your boundaries and that's what they want to do and their boundaries and for you to come together and make that mesh is really, really difficult to do. It's so imperative that you have each other's backs because you will go through things, a lot of things in a marriage that don't even pertain to your partnership. It could be something to do with your career, something to do with fa a family medical situation. There's lots of things that can come in and wreak havoc on your closeness together. But if you always have each other's back and you respect each other all the time, you will have a great relationship please always listen to your instincts. If you're questioning over and over again, if you're with the right person, you probably aren't because your instincts are setting themselves out there trying to tell you something by questioning this. Please listen to that. Listen to your gut. And if your gut is warning you that maybe this just isn't the right partnership for you, please listen to it because that is your intellectual self telling you what to do. Thank you so much everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sea today. Please leave any comments you have below the video. Please subscribe. And if you have any show topics, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.